Hey everybody, so it's early in the morning. I'm going to be very quiet here. Um, but God is just speaking and I'm going to be crazy and get on here because you got to live. You got to live. <laughs> you just got to live, people. You got to live in the moment. Um, you know, I just woke up and God was just saying, you know, align yourself with what I'm doing. Fall into what I'm doing. Yield to it and I will work in you. Um, we got to come to the place where we're willing to die for the gospel of Christ. And that doesn't mean that it's just you're willing to die. Um, like on the missionary field, you're just going to go out there and you're going to give it your all and just going to whip it out there. That's not what it's about. It's about coming to a place where you are so at peace. You have, Your heart is so full of what God wants to do in you and do through you. And you're so full of his love for you. Your foundation is being so strengthened and so built that out of that foundation, out of that strength, everything else flows from it. And that's what's coming more and more in my life. And God says, the more you give yourself to me, the more I'm going to raise you up. The more that you come to me in the quiet moments, in those times when you're woken in the night or you're struggling or whatever bring everything to my throne bring everything to my feet and i'm going to raise you up i'm going to do it trust me he's trying to get us to come to the place of trust full and perfect trust and it says in the bible that perfect love casts out fear if we've got fear if we've got anxiety we've got worry we've got doubt we've got um things that come to our mind and we're struggling with it we've got to bring it to his throne we've got to bring it to his feet and this is just, I feel like God is just bubbling this stuff up inside of me and it's got to get out and it's, people have got to hear it. And I hear so many people saying too, when I've, when I'm talking to them, that they say God's saying the same thing to me, you know, and we cannot live life in a, in a nonchalant kind of way. It's got to be full on, full throttle for, for Jesus. And this is where my dad just, I was talking to him too, and, you know, just confirmed it because that's, it's going to take people that are having faith. And, and if you're not to that place and you say, I don't know how to get there, you know, we've got to ask. It says, ask and you'll receive, you know, seek and you will find, um, totally no makeup here. I mean, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. And it says in Psalm 27, 4, I have to turn there. One thing have I desired of the Lord and that will I seek after. Let me just go there real quick and, and, um, and read it. Because, you know, God's saying you got to get on that altar and stay on that altar. And I'm going to consume everything that is not of me. Psalm Psalm one twenty uh twenty seven sorry patience patience it's a new Bible I got a German and an English Bible so I'm prepared Psalm twenty seven four it says, I've got to figure out how to use this thing. Okay, one thing I have asked from the Lord, that shall I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to meditate in his temple. For in the day of trouble, because that day is coming. There's many days of trouble, and we have them already now. For in the day of trouble, he will conceal me in his tabernacle. In the secret place of his tent, he will hide me. He will lift me up on a rock. And now my head will be lifted above my enemies around me. And I will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy. I will sing. Yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice and be gracious to me and answer me. You said to me, seek my face. My heart said to you, your face, O Lord, I shall seek. 
Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon me, nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord, and teach me in a level path, and bring me and lead me in a level path because of my foes. Do not deliver me over to the desire of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. I would have despaired unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart take courage. Yes, wait for the Lord. These are the things God is just speaking to me. I didn't go and read that whole chapter yesterday, but God was speaking that to me yesterday. One thing have I desired. That was the thought that came to me. I wrote down the scripture verse real quick and I was going to go back and read it. My dad gave me the next verse and I thought I need to go read that scripture. But that's the thing. One thing, one thing you desire, one thing, God is going to do the work. He's going to bring you up to the next level. You just desire it. You come knocking on the door. You come seek his face and he's going to give it to you. He's going to honor his promises. It might take a season and I don't know how long that season is going to be for you. For me, for having a baby, wanting to have a baby, it took nine years. Okay, I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't take nine years for you to come to the place where we drop our pride. We drop our um, our fear. We say, God, I give it to you. I push it over the table. It's yours. Let it fall off the table because I'm done with it. We put our arm out and, and clear the table. We clean the slate. And that's what I believe God wants to do in each one of our lives. But we've got to come to the place where we're willing to trust him. We're willing to let go of those things. We're willing to come to the place where we say, I'm willing to die. I'll let it go. I'll let everything go for you, for your kingdom. I'll put myself on that altar. And God says, keep yourself on that altar. I want to raise you up. I want to do new things in your life, but you've got to lay down your own life so that I can do it in you. And he does it out of a loving heart, a loving way. He's a loving God. He loves us so much. Don't forget it and remind yourself of it every single day. Put those scriptures in your head and in your heart. Read it and pour it over yourself. Pour it over your mind. That's what it tells us in the Old Testament. That we've got to come to the place where we're willing to let it go for his kingdom. And that's what he's telling me. Give it to me, Beth. Align yourself with me. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the work. It's going to be my, by my glory and not by yours. And that is the goodness of God. And we've got to taste that goodness of God. But we're too proud and we're too strong-willed and we've got our own ideas and designs. And that's okay. There's some certain things that God has planted in us because he wants us. We have a desire for life. We have a desire for new things. We have a desire to take care of our family. We have a desire to see that things are going to work out. And God has the same desire, but he has a bigger desire to see that your heart gets, gets changed and that you fall in love with him and that he can have a relationship with you and he can work in you and he can bring those new things to life in you. And we have to let go in order to have that new life. You can't hold on to your old life and get a new life. You got to get rid of the one life in order to get a new one. And um, yeah, it's just God is good and he's got good things in store for you if you'll choose to follow him. So I'm um, putting this out there and um, just be encouraged and 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 just come to the place, come to your knees, come to him and he's going to do the work. Um, signing off. Bye.